Pokemon Go was really big at the time, so I was like, okay, well, what, you know, what is it about Pokemon Go that people are getting into, you know, mobile games again, and they're continuing with it, and they're hooked? Is it, it has to be something to do with the design, the user interface, and obviously there's a lot of nostalgia for many people around Pokemon itself. So I went on the internet and just Googled, like, what does it look like? Because I didn't have the app, but I knew the hype was there. And so I look for things in the world that are hooking people now. Like if we talk about today's world, it'd be things like Netflix, you know, what is Netflix doing that we can, that is people are binging and consuming stuff. And I know that's inspired another project that we're working on at the moment. How can we educate through entertainment? And we're taking that in. So what in the world is hooking people and people are obsessed about and how can we bring that into our learning experiences? You can see, like, yeah. I just look, I love, like, you know, this kind of gradient happening in the background there, the little cards and the buttons. Like, I just love the colors. I think one thing that I continuously um, find with e learning is a good first impression of the visual look and feel is really key. Um, when I look at yeah. ads on the side of a bus, when I look at and I, maybe I'm more attuned to this, but I see things out and I'm always like, why did that catch my attention? And it's always the visual appeal. It might be this beautiful, bright color image. So I look for things like that and I go, okay, how can we use them? So um, I liked yeah. this like kind of something in the middle, not necessarily a Pokemon, but something in the middle, the hierarchy, the heading, and then information down below. Um, I loved at the time the client when they initially put the brief out it was we want this gamified so I guess that's another why, reason why Pokemon Go was an influence and um, so I loved like okay well earning points is kind of something that comes with gamification and rewards and then this could be quite cool of like they earn little diamonds and they can see what they have to continue to go and um, find you know, this, you've earned something or you've won, you know, so I'm looking for influences of design. Um, and then I kind of just like the color scheme here. And then I was go on to Google and I'm like, what else of this kind of design is out there? I can't remember if this one's from Google or if it's from Shutterstock, but that's where I go. And I'm creating, what I'm doing here is I'm getting a mood board. What is the look and feel that I'm going to create based on this? So I really like the buttons here thought the little shadow was quite cool um we weren't doing a mobile solution but i kind of always get brought back to these little cards with the rounded corners the buttons like this where they look like you can touch them you know you can pick them up and eat them almost um what else is here i love how you look for things i think that's such a good idea because there are so many things when if you actually pay attention there are certain things that grab your attention like whether it's in Add on YouTube or something you see on TV, and yeah. I think sometimes we forget to go. Oh, like why did that grab my attention? But it sounds like you've sort of got a lens or a filter where you can say, okay, like this could be really good for our training. So I think mm. that's a really good tool as well to be aware of what grabs your attention.